I had a uh, blog on MySpace, and uh, it was just me just venting about a crappy job I had at the time. And I started uh, just writing about it, and it like went like early viral. Like only like a few hundred people read it, but I was like, man, I don't even have like a hundred friends. It's so cool. And so I started posting over and over again, and then I just got into writing comedy to nonstop. And uh, then um, I did a summer camp, and they needed some entertainment. And so I wrote some comedy, and I just read it, and somebody was like, dude, that was really funny, you should do stand-up. And so I, I, it took me a few years to get into it, because like I was so terrified. I signed up over and over again for open mics, finally went up, and uh, been hooked ever since. So it's been awesome. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I mean, no other way to put it is uh, I was probably, uh, I mean, it was only four years ago, but it was at the Improv, and there was, it was a, a showcase, like a graduation show, and there was probably like 250 people there. And so to have your jokes the first time be heard in front of 250 people, you know, it's nerve-wracking. I paced, I was sweating, I was nervous, and uh, it went well, though. I got a few good laughs, and um, as soon as you get that first laugh, man, it's just like a drug. You have to get more, you know? It's like you just want to write more and perform more, and it, it was a blast. I actually grew up listening to No Respect, Roddy Dangerfield, and that was one of my favorite albums. I learned every single line on that. Um, but actually, that was probably the only one I was exposed to for quite some time until uh, years later, I, uh, somebody gave me Skanks for the Memories, a David Tell CD. And I started listening to that, and I, I thought it was just so funny, so creative. And I, uh, I learned some of the jokes and would tell them to some of my friends, and they thought it was so funny. And then uh, got some other CDs too uh, after that, Adam Sandler ones, obviously, and some. Um, uh, what's the other guy that always was with Sandler? The little, like, the kind of childish guy. I can't remember his name. He was in Bench Warmers. But, anyways, uh, there was a few CDs that I liked, but really, Danger Field to Tell, probably much the big ones. Sitcoms, Married with Children was nonstop jokes. Married with Children was just rapid fire, so funny. So edgy, you know, for its time even. And uh, I can still watch them today and laugh, you know, just hysterically. Um, I like, I obviously love watching SNL. I grew up on SNL and things of that nature, you know. And uh, and uh, some of the good movies, I mean, Old School with Dan Roddy Dangerfield is classic, one of my favorites. Uh, just uh, any sort of comedies that are, that are out. I'm into, like, I like the kind of Judd Apatow uh, era that we're having now, but... Uh, I actually also like the old comedies, man, the Tommy Boy and stuff like that. Those are some of the best classics and they just can't be matched, you know? I want somebody who I could I learn from, and I think uh, I would probably get a great deal of knowledge from Jeselnik. Like, Anthony Jeselnik, he, he seems like he could sit down and talk with you like he's very smart and I'd like his his wit I think is something that I'd like to kind of apply to my comedy is how he went about creating his career off of just great crafted well written jokes that offend everyone but are so funny that you can look past it you know it's a, it's a pretty and unique talent Uh, obviously, I have to go with Dangerfield. Um, I'm a big fan of Nick DiPaolo, man. Nick DiPaolo, I'd love to have him there, too. Uh, Louis C.K., just for the story. And, uh, I don't know, um, probably Eddie Murphy, because he's a legend. And uh, I love David Spade. I have to go with David Spade, too. He's a pretty, pretty cool guy. I'd like to, I've been writing a lot, and I'd, I'd like to get into writing some of these sitcoms and writing some of these sketches and getting them produced. And I've been writing a lot for radio because uh, I do a little radio show, and uh, I want to expand that into uh, film, theater, just any sort of creative outlet I can have. I definitely want to try to get into the French Festival in Orlando. I have a, a really good idea for a um, a play that I want to produce, and uh, just get into script writing of all forms. And, 
and see if I can make my way into uh, developing some stuff. Because a lot of comics, they don't realize, like Louis C.K. was a writer for Letterman. And, like, there's a lot of comics that start off as writers behind the scenes and then move their way in front of the camera. Because then once they learn how it's written, how it's made, and how, to, how it should be done, then it's kind of the next step. I uh, want to move to New York. Uh, it's probably going to happen within the next year. And uh, then I'd like to uh, just start hosting in New York and kind of build up a reputation, get to know people, network, and then uh, try to work my way into uh, some of the bigger productions, possibly, uh, you know, Daily Show or um, uh, maybe like uh, late night working as a warm up comic or something like that. Work my way into the studios and then go from there. I, I like to be, I'm not a negative comic. I'm not like one of those comics that's going to beat myself down the entire time. I like to have the optimism. So I like people leaving just with a laugh and also feeling like like they like they heard well-written jokes. You know, I, I will take pride in like writing a really good joke and crafting it. And I want them to be like, wow, those were like smarter jokes. I don't want them to feel like I was, you know hitting low fruit, like I was aiming high and they went along with me and they felt, feel like they saw the great show. DevinComedy.com has everything, D-E-V-I-N Comedy.com, that's all my info. I've got a blog there for new comics uh, to they can read and get started with uh, doing comedy. Um, and then um, all my all of my most social media is at Devin Siebel, D E V I N S I E B O L D. And uh, that's Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, all that good stuff. So. Uh, check out my interview on acutiepie.com. Uh, it's not pictures of me, it's actually much better material. But uh, check it out.